Hello, I'm just going to do a short video to introduce you to this product. It's called Alvis Clean, or we're calling it a propolis cleaner. It's a liquid detergent to remove propolis and wax from equipment. It comes in a one litre bottle and you should dilute it with warm water between three and six percent, which means 30 millilitres to 60 millilitres for every one litre of water you're using. It's got foaming properties, so you'll see it foams up quite quickly. It's for use for cleaning most equipment, really. It can't be used on light metals. It can't be used on aluminium or galvanized metals, but it can be used on stainless steel. It can be used on wood. It can also be used on the surfaces of extraction equipment, not the insides, but the outside surfaces, processing tables, frames, etc. It has lots and lots of different benefits for removing propolis and wax. Okay, so I've got approximately 10 litres of, uh, of water in here. I've done it in a tidy tray just so you can see it better. So I'm going to add just less than half a bottle of the propolis cleaner. Some of the equipment we're going to put in here is quite dirty, so I'm doing quite high concentrate. As you can see, I'm wearing safety goggles, gloves, long sleeves as well. If you do get any of this on you, you need to rinse it off straight away. If you get any in your eyes, rinse them straight away. Anything on your clothing, again, take the clothing off, rinse it straight away. So now I'm just going to add the liquid. I've got a safety cap and a dispenser like this. So I'm going to add in there and it'll start to foam. It'll take me a while to add it in. I'm going to be careful not to splash. You see it's starting to foam already. A little bit more, I think. I'm going to give it a good mix. To foam it up. There you go. So we're all ready to go, and I've got some pretty manky looking equipment with quite a lot of wax and beeswax on it. So I'm just going to basically submerge them into, into the water, like so. Hand bottle to put in. Got a couple of hive tools and a knife as well. Uh, we're using our wax bunch, which are pretty grotty. So you could start scrubbing straight away, but this is this has got a lot of wax and propolis on, so I'm going to leave these five to ten minutes, and then we'll take them out and uh, scrub them then, and we can see the difference. Okay, so these have been in for about ten minutes, and you can see I haven't done any scrubbing or anything yet. But if you look at see how there's bits of there's um. There's just bits of, of, of debris just sort of all over the, in the water. And the water's very, very dark now. <clears throat> so you can see all this around the top just from just being in there has, um, has already come off. And just give it a quick scrape off. There you go. You get it. Easily comes off. Give it a scrub in there. Just a quick go with this. See how easily that comes off. That's a mixture of propolis and wax on that feeder there. Okay. <clears throat> and then after that, we need to give it a rinse, which we'll do in a moment. <clears throat> then I've also got in here really, really high tool. We use this in our wax plant. It was actually solid with wax. There's already a bit, you can see, come off. But if I just scrape that again, you can see the wax comes off really easily. I suppose you could always then, of course, put it back in and get for a little bit longer. You see how easy that wax comes off. What else have we got in here? Then we've got the crown board. A bit more stubborn. We can see the wax. And I say there's a lot of propolis on here. You can see that propolis on there. Again, scraping it off. No problem at all. So easily scrape that off. And the final thing I've got in here is a frame, which had some propolis and stuff on the top. Give it a good scrape. You'll never get it all off because the propolis just won't. So you can give it a good scrape. There we go. And it all comes off. Okay. So once you're done with that, Dispose of the water safely, don't put any water courses of course, put it down drain, 
and then give it a good rinse with some good clean water. And then you'll have some equipment, shiny and new, ready to go.